Hey guys, welcome back to Doki Doki. Um, ignore the last two episodes, they never happened. I didn't mess up recording whatsoever because I'm on a new computer. And because OBS decided, hey, I'm gonna only record like this top portion of the screen and not record like what you see before you. But anyway, let's keep going. Fuck, why did it make this look so confusing? We sent each other one after... Yeah, we sent each... We sent each other one after wait this is confusing me wait we sent each other one after exchanging numbers to double check but it turned into a conversation oh oh no i didn't think we were doing this till afterwards man hi joseph i sit down in a room uh, sayori forces a smile but it's easy to tell that she's different there's a minute of silence between us you haven't come over like this in a long time, have you? I guess you're right. It has been a long time. I just I wanted to see how you were doing. After you left on Friday, when something's wrong, you can't hide it from me. I know you too well. So, Sarah smiles, shaking her head. That's no good, Joseph. Huh? Why can't it just be like it's always been? This is all my fault. And if I didn't get so weak and accidentally express my feelings. If I didn't make that stupid mistake, then you wouldn't have been worried about me at all. You wouldn't have come here. You wouldn't have even been thinking about me right now. But this is just my punishment, isn't it? I'm getting punished for being so selfish. I think that's why the world decided to have you come over today. It just wants to torture me. Yeah. Sayori? I grab Sayori by the shoulders. What on earth are you saying? Are you listening to yourself right now? I know something happened to you. There's no other explanation for you to be like this. You're wrong. Nothing happened to me. I've always been like this. You're just seeing it for the first time. Seeing what? The thing is... I've had really bad depression my whole life. Did you know that? Why do you think I'm late to school every day? Because most days I can't even find a reason to get out of bed. What reason is there to do anything when I fully know how worthless I am? I'm in shock. I can't even figure out how to respond. How is it possible that Sayori kept this from me the entire time that I've known her? Did she really want so badly for me to just not think about her? Why Sayori? Huh? Why is it that you never told me about this? It almost feels like I've been betrayed as your close friend. Because if I knew, I would have done everything I could to support you. Even if there's only so much I could do. You don't understand at all, Joseph. Why do you think I didn't tell you? Because if I told you, then you would have to... You would have to waste effort caring about me instead of doing important things. I don't want to be cared about. It's bittersweet when people try to care about me. Helping everyone be t happy together is the best thing for me. But then I discovered something else too. Seeing you make friends and get closer with everyone in the club, it feels like a spear going through my heart. So that's why... That's why I decided the world just wants to torture me. Every path leads to nothing but hurt. You're right, that I don't understand. I don't understand your feelings at all, Sayori. But I don't need to understand. Whatever it takes for me to help you stop hurting, that's what I'll do. No, Joseph, there's nothing. Nothing at all. The only thing that could have helped is if everything could be the, like it always was. But I was selfish. I finally showed you what a horrible person I am. Tears streaked down Sierra's face. I made you join the literature club because I was selfish. And I was punished by my heart hurting in a way that I couldn't understand. And now you came here and I made you hurt too. I'm just weak and selfish. That's all I am. And that's why I'm going to accept these punishments. Because I deserve every last one. Without thinking, I once again grab Sayori's shoulders. This time I pull her into a tight embrace. Uh, Joseph? Sayori, I don't care if you feel selfish. 
I'm really happy that you convinced me to join the club. Seeing you every day makes it worthwhile enough. If I make friends with everyone else, then that's just a bonus. But please never underestimate how much I care about you. I wouldn't have had it any other way. Oh, so Sarah isn't talking me back. She starts sobbing next to my ear. No, don't do this to me. Please don't do this. Joseph, I... Sarah barely manages to speak between her sobs. I don't know if I'm doing the right thing. But all I want is for her to know that what that I care. If you have it in you to call yourself selfish, then you have to let me be selfish too. No matter what it takes, I'll figure out what needs to change. I'll make these feelings go away. And if there's anything that you need me to do, then you'd better be you better tell me. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. Sarah gently finally puts her arms around me in return. I don't know anything. It's all really scary. I don't understand any of my feelings, Joseph. The only time I'm not feeling nothing is when I'm feeling pain. But your hugs are so warm. That's really scary, too. Sarah lets me go. As she does, uh, so I let her go as well. The festival is tomorrow. Yeah. It's gonna be fun, right? Yeah. How would you like for me to spend it all with you? Um, uh, it's what I want. I promise. I, I think that would be nice then. Yeah. Sari wipes her eyes. If I could spend the whole day here, I would. Of all days, this has to be the one where I have other plans. Maybe I should can No, don't. Please don't. If you do that, then I really won't forgive you. But it's almost time for Natsuki to meet at my house. At the very least, do you want to come along and help out? It would be fun. To my surprise, Sayori shakes her head. I'm sorry. I don't know if that would be very good for me to do, or today. You understand, right? It's kind of hard for me to fully understand, but I'm trying my hardest. It's okay. Don't worry about it too much. I'll see you tomorrow, okay? Alright. I look forward to it. <coughs> oh my god. Ah, oh, sorry. I just, can I just save real quick? Um, I spend only a few minutes back at home, anxiously awaiting Natsuki's arrival. Before I know it, she texts me to let me know she's outside the front door. So, Jeez, don't make it feel so awkward already. It's gonna be a long afternoon, so don't be weird just because you're not used to seeing me outside of school. Glad I could count on you to do your part. Well, of course. I'm surprised to hear Natsuki suddenly say that, rather than something snarkly like she usually does. Anyway, let's go to the kitchen. What? You're not even gonna offer to take this heavy bag from me? Where's your hospitality, Joseph? Come on. Since when did I need to be a gentleman? I grab the bag Natsuki holds out to me. <coughs> this is ridiculously heavy! <laughs> I carried that all the way here. Are you impressed? I see now. Yes, I'm impressed, Natsuki. You jerk. Natsuki hits a fist into my chest. Hey, hey, hey. Now you treat me like a kid. And just because I don't have a mature and sexy figure like Yuri doesn't mean you should treat me like a... Uh. Natsuki catches her words and her face turns red. Natsuki? Forget it! I did I did say anything! If that's what you're thinking, uh, then you should know that there are tons of guys who are into body types like yours. Uh, how would you know that anyway? Just trust me on this one. <laughs> oh my god, nah, please. Me and this Joseph have officially disconnected now. Gross! Hey, was that for me? Who else? Before long, the whole kitchen is a mess. Spoons, dirty bowls, flour, spilled fluid, and plastic bags are stirring, stirring about every countertop. I recall Natsuki proudly presenting her cat-shaped cupcakes and Sayori and Monica's delighted expressions. Oh my god, that was so long ago! That was like, when did I record that? I think that was in March? 
had to be in March or something, or maybe even April, man. That's weird. It's so long ago. 